Welcome back to see when it plays Yaku 10 live. It's been a long while But anyway, it's May 13th 142 p.m. at the court room Court is back in session for the trial of Asuka Karin The defense is ready your honor Really you're gonna do this again? A 30 minute recess, overly generous I'd say. I've seen eggs that take longer to prepare than this witness, but that's just the Kurosawa way. Accuracy and efficiency, it will do you good to remember that. I am not wasting my neurons on that dribbler, hurry up and get on with it. The witness, Miyashita Aisan, has been thoroughly prepared. She will explain the movements of the other club members. The prosecution intends to demonstrate once and for all that nobody besides the defendant could have committed the crime. Very well, bring in the witness. Witness, say your name and occupation. My name is Miyashita Aya. As for my occupation, I'm currently occupying this witness stand. <laughs> oh boy. Huh? Well, you really set this gym up like an actual place to run a trial. Nito, the basketball hoops are still up. You can cross-examine me while I cross up other players. And don't think I didn't see what you did there. You guys set up a courtroom in a room full of courts. Okay, I, I love you, but this is not the time for jokes. <laughs> Say, so you guys should let Rina replay Detective again, but let Emichi, Kasumi, and Kanachan run the trial instead. Get it? It'll be courts, courts, in the court of courts. Oh my god. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to stop you here, witness. You're here to testify and not run a stand-up routine. If I wanted to watch a comedy show, I have bought tickets to the circus. Huh? For a second I thought she was going to say something like I had watched the defense's previous trial. Alternatively, I have watched the defense's previous trial. Ugh. Hey, lighten up, Stabby. No need to be so harsh on you, you. Wow, she's standing up for you, you china. Huh, <sighs> about time I got some respect around here. Thanks, I chan In any case, you know what to testify about, right? The witness was one of the few Nijigasaki School Idol Club members to have left the practice room around the time of the crime. She had left with two other members as a group. Since the three of them left together, Miyashita Aisan will be speaking on all three of their behalves. Are you ready to testify or should I explain the process again? Don't worry, I've been in one of these before. Ah, <sighs> this takes me back. Takes you back? You mean you participated in a trial before? Well, not recently, a few years ago. Misato Onichan had one of these when she was a student. I was just a little girl back then. The witness has an older sister? She's my sister from another mister. We're not blood related, but we may as well be. Huh, didn't know that. Guess we're not technically the first school attorneys after all. Well, that's enough Nijigasaki trivia party. Please begin your testimony as soon as possible. Alright, let's get cracking. And not cracking jokes. It's not the time for that. Anyway, who was at practice? So yeah, when practice started, I took a look at everyone who was present. As for the people at practice that day, we had Yuyu, Azuna, Quartz, and Diver Diva. The only ones who left the room besides Karin were me, Setsu, and Rinari. We didn't go anywhere besides the restroom though. We headed over there and headed right back afterwards. So I'm sorry to say, but I think it could only have been Karin, right? So the three of you have gone to the restroom together on that day, leaving the defendant as the only possible culprit. The prosecution has evidence pertinent to the statement to submit. What is this prosecution? At the time of the crime, the witness had coincidentally snapped a photo of herself and her friends in the restroom. See for yourself. Oh, that's a nice picture. Ah, it shows the witness and her two associates in the restroom, as she had testified. I have added the file name to the bottom left of the image. Take a note of it. I'm not gonna remember that, but thanks. 
That is a really nice picture that we're... The file name includes a sequence of numbers. That means the photo was taken on May 11th at 4.15 p.m. I've cross-confirmed the file name with the metadata to make sure that the file name was not tampered with. We can safely conclude that the time was legitimate. This is getting more serious than I had expected. So we have a photo relevant to the crime now, too. Eyes photo added to the court record, taken at 4.15 p.m. on the day of the crime in the restroom. We took the photo the same minute that the tickets were minted. No shot anyone could possibly make it to or from the printing room to set up the printer within one minute. I see. And the witness, are you sure there wasn't any others who left the practice room that day? As sure as death and taxes. Seriously, why does everyone keep saying that? Everyone was distracted by the little game that Rena remade. What was it called? Rena Clicker? When I got back to the practice room, everyone was still huddled around Rena Ree's phone. So I'm pretty sure that it was just us four who left that day. Anyway, it's time for you to use cross-examination of me, right? Make sure you focus hard. You don't want to get all cross-eyed. Am I right? Right. Though with the court's request that you keep your jokes and antics to a minimum. It's like I said, this is no place for a stand-up routine. Save it for the stage. Oh, uh, Etsu, prosecution. Come on, you don't have to share Nanosan's mindset. No need to be so judgmental. The defense shall begin its cross-examination of the witness. However, I must warn you, if you press this witness in a way that causes her to wisecrack, I will not hesitate to hand you a penalty. Huh? That's not fair. Your Honor, with all due respect, can you reconsider? Yeah, because it's been a very long time since I did this. Oh my god, I'm scared. Anyway, I really don't think I should be held accountable for this witness making an unexpected pun. Actually, you're right. That would be patently ridiculous. Yeah, there's no need to punish Yu-chan for a joke I chan makes. I wouldn't even need to buy tickets to the circus. Doing that would be like bringing the circus here. Are we cross-examining the clown now? Yeah, that would be like stupid or something. And we are not stupid. Do we have anything to prove that someone else must have went towards the printing room? I'm not sure. I might have to search for another opening. If I overfocus on one thing, I miss the big picture. We were at practice on the day of the crime, too. Do you see something that doesn't add up? There's something in here that I can tell is out of place. Now may be the time to let the whole court know. I've been meaning to bring it up. Things have changed, and I don't think there's any other way to beat i Chen's testimony right now. You're not wrong. If we're truly stuck, we might need to point the finger elsewhere. There's something in here that I should know is out of place. I just need to let everyone else know. I don't know what that is. That's a sad part. I guess we'll press all of them and we'll see what happens. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you? They're all my friends. I'd like to know who I'm practicing with on a given day. It's not like there's a ton of us either. Max 13. Good grief, even the idol group sizes here are excessive. I know, that's a lot to remember. Anyway, uh... Press this one. I'm pretty sure that's everybody that's listed. Anyway, can you clarify what you mean for the rest of the court? Well, Yu Yu is Takasaki Yu, for starters. The members of our idol club are split into subunits, as in our courts and Diver Diver are all subunits we have here. It would help if you list all the members of each subunit for us. Asuna is made up of Urahara Ayumu, Osaka Suzuku, and Yuki Setsuna. Like I said sooner, Setsu was one of the two who went to the restroom with me. I really feel like handing someone a penalty right now. Courts is made up of Nakasaki Kasumi, Kanoe Kanata, Emma Verde, and Tenoji Rina. I hope I made that crystal clear. I wonder why the text here... Emma Verde is the correct order, but everyone else has last name first. Whatever. I can feel the judge's eyes burning a hole in the mirror. And Diver Diva is made up of Asuka, Karen, and me. That's everyone. Come see her show sometimes, okay? She listed everyone correctly. I think that's that. Are you sure nobody else could have left the room? As far as I'm aware, let me know if I'm wrong. With evidence I might add, don't go pulling out unsustained falsehoods out of nowhere. I caught you here to prove my point, but it looks like I now have to prove my point to you. Can you prove that you didn't? 
Uh, can you prove that I did? The burden of proof is on the claim maker. It is impossible to prove a negative, so it's up to the claim maker to prove a positive. You've called this witness here for her testimony. If you think it's wrong, you'll have to prove it. She's right. I tell you being here presents us an opportunity. I've got to strike while the iron's hot. Sorry, you, you. It looks like you'll need a smoking gun of your own. But watch out. Don't get countered by Diasan's bulletproof. You don't know that yet. You know Karen's son wouldn't do that. I know, I don't think Karen's son would want to do it either. Unfortunately, all the facts are saying that it was her, right? Ugh, I hate to admit it, but they do. I want to think the best of her. There's an exclamation for all of this. Yes, the story is much, much deeper than this. I'm sure of it. What's up with that response? Okay, so we have to bring an item up. But what statement do we have to bring it on? Present the camera on this statement. Let's see if I'm right. Ah, uh, the music didn't stop, so I guess it's wrong. Okay, I forgot you could do people too. I don't know why I forgot. But anyway, we did see Sirika in the printing room, so I have to present this, I think. Music stopped. Okay, good. That's good. Witness, there were only 10 people at practice on the day of the crime, right? Yep, just like I said. What about Mifune Shiriko? She is of the subunit Rebirth. She didn't show up to practice on the day of the crime. We talked about other printing rooms with other vinyl printers before this trial. Isn't it possible that she could have used one of those printers since she wasn't restricted to Highway 306 like everyone else? Well, yeah, but you and I both know that she was off campus that day, so she couldn't have done so. That's what she told us, but I think it's time we asked the pivotal question. How can we know that for sure? Defense, I don't understand your strategy here. We've talked about the other printing room on campus before, and you must have known that Mifune shiriko san was not at practice on the day of the crime. So why do you wait until now to bring this up? You could have brought it up at any point beforehand. So riko chan had told me that she was not at school around the time of the crime. I'm usually one to believe her, but... I think it's time to call this into question. Like I always say, we must consider all possibilities. Also, I'm kind of stuck here. If I can't find some way to pin it on the other people at practice, I might have to shift my thinking to elsewhere. Defense, what is your proposition? I propose to bring Shiriko chan back in here and have her testify about where she was. We had just sent her away and brought in this witness in her place, and now you want to bring her back. One witness after another. What a sloppy performance. It would do you good to actually plan your cases like I do. Witness, you are dismissed. We'll see you in five minutes when the defense changes her mind again. Um, is it okay if I chance stays on the witness stand? Pardon? Pardon? Your Honor, the defense isn't finished with this witness yet. What the hell are you doing? Didn't you just ask to call in a different witness? Nothing about this makes any sense. Pick one witness and stay with it. Oh, Daya's pissed. I think Yuchan is asking for both of them to be up on the stand at the same time. Can... can we do that? I guess I don't mind. I'll just scooch over then. Prosecution, do you agree to this? Makes no difference to me. The court is already as jumpy as any other kangaroo court. What's another unorthodox move? Throw all the weird nonsense you want at me, defense. I'll defeat you either way. Then it shall be done. Bailiff, bring in the witness. Kind of a tight fit, huh? But I can handle it. Why have you called me back again? Watch out, shield to you. They're gonna charge you with assault. Seriously? For what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The defense is questioning your location at the time of the crime. Huh, I believe I had said that I was off campus. Show Rico chan please testify your exact whereabouts. I need to make sure that you weren't actually on campus. I see what's going on. You think I was the one who printed the tickets?
Sorry, I just need to make sure. I understand. I take no offense. In a case like this, it is pivotal that all of the facts are provided. I self-resent them to you. So, I guess I just stand here and look pretty? For now, yes. I'll talk to you if I think I need to. Alright, let's see what I can get out of this. Witness testimony. Sir Rico's whereabouts. The crime happened between 4 and 4.30 on May 11th, correct? I was not at school at the time. During the time of the crime, I was doing something for the children's center I usually volunteer at. I was far enough away that it was not possible for me to have gone to any of the printing rooms to print anything within the given time period. And I'm Aisan! Okay, you're... I, you didn't need to add that randomness at the end. Anyway, so the witness really was off campus, meaning that she didn't have access to the vinyl printers. It all seems simple enough. Defense, cross-examine the witnesses. Wow, cross-examining two people at once. You're really something, yu Chan. I just hope that this works smoothly. It'll be hard to talk to and listen to two people at once in a situation like this. Actually, listening goes three ways, doesn't it? How? What do you mean? Well, you're talking and listening to Ai-chan, as well as to riko chan right? But while those two are on the stand together, they're also listening to each other, you know? I suppose that's true. Whoever's not being questioned, it doesn't really have anything else to do besides listen. If you press one of them for info, remember to watch the other one closely. You might see them react to something that the other said. If that happens, you can press T to pursue them and ask them what's on their mind. You might find a new opening that way. I see. I've really got to keep an eye on both of them then. Someone else must have printed the tickets. It's either Shiriko chan or someone who was at the practice room. But which is correct? I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. I feel like I should press all options, just to be safe. Actually, it technically happened at 4.15, although I guess that doesn't really change anything. Correct, I was completely off campus that entire interval. So the tickets being printed at 4.15, it doesn't change anything. I still wasn't on campus at the time. That makes sense. Just my luck. I'd have more breathing room if she didn't just so happen to have a watertight alibi. The Children's Center. There's a children's center that I often volunteer for. I'm usually helping out with the kids or running errands for them. And I changed her pose or whatever, so I guess we'll pursue it. I Chan, did you have anything to add to that? Huh? Oh, oops. Did I do something? Just now I saw you react to what Shiriko Chan said. She said that she was volunteering for the Children's Center. Oh, it's no big deal. It's just... Shuchi, I thought you went somewhere different. That's what I thought anyway. What? The witness didn't actually go to the Children's Center? Oh my, don't get the wrong idea now. I never said that I was at the Children's Center. I said I was running errands for them. Witness, where was it that you actually went? That would have to have been Akihabara. Rinobi and I are going there later today. You tell me, was it fun? Fun? Sorry, I was running an errand. I would have liked to enjoy myself there, but I didn't have time to. Ah, so that's why you couldn't do that thing I asked you to do. What are you going on about? What thing? Oh, it's nothing. I just wanted Shilti to pick up a few souvenirs for me. It's got nothing to do with the case. It's alright though, I called Shilti about it when I found out. In the call, I told her I wanted to bring Rinari there anyway, so it'll be okay if she wasn't able to get the stuff for me. I could just get them myself then. But one more important question. I China, how did you know that Shiriko chan was in Akihabara? Oh, that? I asked her before the practice session started. I noticed Shiochi didn't show up to practice, so before practice started, I sent her a message asking where she was. Shiochi didn't respond until 3.50. I guess she didn't see the message until then. Naturally, I saw it when I left for the restroom. And what was her response? Nothing, but she did send me a location ping. Location ping? Basically, I sent her a message containing a map of my location as dictated by the GPS. Don't worry about fabrication because it's impossible. This is the real deal. Shiriko's location. On the day of the crime at 3.50, Shiriko was at the train station in Akihabara. Look at that, you China. You managed to find an opening when there otherwise was none. It looks like pursuing has its merits. I'd better keep this tactic in mind. 
Let's see, according to this location ping, Shiriko Chen had stopped at Akihabara Station at 3.50. I better take a note of that. Witness, please amend your testimony. Will do. At the time I was doing something for the Children's Center I usually volunteer at, although I was actually in Akihabara. And since this is a new part of the statement, we're gonna question this. The Children's Center. There's a children's center that I often volunteer for. I'm usually helping out with the kids or running errands for them. And like I said, the errand I was running required me to go to Akihabara. Since Renju and Mia-san are out of town, reverse activities are suspended. I've been using the opportunity to get things done. Careful, you don't want to get rusty now. Come to practice every once in a while. I was far enough away that it was not possible for me to have gone to any of the printing rooms to print anything within a given time period. Okay, so this is just a normal statement. We're gonna press it anyway. How far away were you exactly? Several kilometers, I think. I wouldn't have had the time to get back here. Several kilometers? How did you get so far? Did you walk? I took a train. There's one that runs between here and where I was going. She must have taken the train like we did when we went to Akihabara. The free train pass is awfully convenient, I've got to say. Okay, we're going to try to press this statement with Shiriko's location. I had to look up for a guide because I was so confused. Witness, I need you to start telling me the truth. Huh? I've been truthful this whole time. No, not you, the other witness. Is there something wrong with what I've been saying? Actually, it's about the location ping that I China just showed us. That is, I take issue with something that's shown on this map. You're going to have to show us what you mean, defense. Show the court what the issue with the location ping is. It has to be the station. No! It's here, the location I was talking about. Are you sure about that? I don't really see anything out of place here. Oh, huh? Did I point? Yeah, I pointed out the wrong thing. You look like you're itching for another shot. Try again. Oh, the printing shop across the street. It's here, this is the location I was talking about. I didn't even notice the printing shop across the station. But anyway, the printing shop. Ah, it's the printing shop. That's right, there's a printing shop near the train station Shiriko-chan was supposedly at. It's completely possible that the witness was able to print the tickets despite not being at school due to the presence of the printing shop. Order, order. For the longest time, we've been assuming that the printing rooms on campus are the only place that can print the tickets due to their ability to print to vinyl. However, there's no doubt that the printing shop in Akihabara would be able to print to vinyl as well. You big oaf, the tickets were found underneath the printer in the printing room on Highway 306. Or have you already forgotten it? Why would the tickets have been in the school's printing room if they weren't even printed in there? I think you're the one who needs to refresh her on what's been going on. What? Tell me, who was the one who brought the tickets into this trial in the first place? It, it can't be! The maintenance workers of the school just handed me something that's probably very important to this case. And what would that be? Here. There's, there's no way! Witness, if you're trying to play me for a fool, I won't forgive you. Relax, there is a perfectly rational explanation for why that never happened. And what would that be? When the tickets were printed, the computer systems at our school detected that there were more tickets in circulation than available seats, right? Well, a random print shop would have no reason to be connected to our computer systems if the tickets were printed outside the school. The email would have never been sent out, is that what you're saying? Precisely, the tickets must have been printed on campus. Order, order. No, I was banking on that. It didn't work. And the defense's latest theory gets shut down the drain. Pity. What well, you say now, defense? Any more fantastical stories you want to try out before we close this off? I don't know. I'm really at a loss now. What should I do? I feel like we've asked Ai-chan and Shiriko-chan everything they can talk about. 
defense, if you have anything else to say, now would be the time. I, I feel faint. I can't give up, but I don't think I really have anything that could get us out of this trap. Do I still have a chance? Is there anything else I can still say? Show evidence or wait and see? I literally don't know what to do. I guess we'll just wait and see. Your honor, I... I've got nothing. So it seems. In that case, I am ready to hand down my verdict. Oh no, it's already over. Oof, I guess that's it. Don't feel down though, you you. I can tell you did your best. Kyron wouldn't put it against you. I will. Your performance was a joke. I can't believe you just give up at the end there. Hey, you should try your best, okay? What are you supposed to do when all the evidence is stacked against you? Anyway, let's wrap this up. I want to get to surprise Rina Ryu with our Akihabara visit. Very well. This court finds the defendant Asuka Karin. Wait, what? Are you over? Um, oops. Defense, what hilarious yet infuriating antics are you trying to pull now? Ayumu, what's going on? Why'd you call out like that so suddenly? You chan didn't you hear what Aichan said? She said that the trip to Akihabara with Rina-chan was supposed to be a surprise. But she also said that yesterday during break, she had called shiriko chan and talked to her about the surprise trip, which means... Wait, what does it mean? I'm sure it means something. Can you speak up? I can't hear you from back there. Or do you have something that you can use to climb out of the ditch you're trapped in? Not likely. Tell you what, if you can slip out of this tight spot, I'll take back what I said about your performance. I'm about to hand on my verdict. Defense, this is your last chance to continue the trial. Of course, just give me a second. It's a new angle, that's for sure. Apparently, Ai-chan called Shiriko-chan yesterday during the break and talked to her about how she was going to take Rina-chan to Akihabara. But also, the trip is supposed to be a surprise. I guess that means Rina-chan still doesn't know by now. She's still in the waiting room anyway. But what does this change? Does this even make a difference? Let's combine the fact that Ai-chan told Shiriko-chan about the plan to go to Akihabara with Rina-chan and the fact that the trip was supposed to be a surprise. When when we consider those two facts together, it becomes apparent to that. Rina knew about the trip. I and Rina were not together at the time. They aren't actually going to Akihabara. Or the call never happened. I don't know. This is way too many options to figure out, and I only have 60 out of 100 life, so I gotta be careful with this. A few minutes later. I guess we'll try the last one. The call never happened. Huh? It's obvious, since Rina-chan was with Ai-chan, the Ka would have given away the surprise. Therefore, the reality is that the Ka must have never happened. It did. Huh? It did? Correct. I can confirm that the call did occur, exactly as Ai-chan described earlier. I don't see what difference it would make either way, do you? I must agree. Let's quit wasting time. Okay, that was the wrong answer. Unless you have an explanation for what difference this makes, we will end the trial. Would you like to try again? Okay, so it's either the first three answers. I don't know which one it is. I gotta be very careful though. They weren't together at the time? If Ai-chan had called Shiriko-chan about going to Akihabara with Rina-chan, then Rina-chan would have known about it since they were together at the time. But now Ai-chan is saying that the trip is supposed to be a surprise. That means Rina-chan didn't know about it, so what really happened? The only logical explanation is that Rina-chan and Ai-chan were not together when the call was made. That makes sense. And what difference does that make? Whether Rina's son heard the call or not doesn't change anything. Please pay attention to the trial of the music stops, so does that mean I picked the right answer? There were three people who left the practice room besides the defendant that day. Yeah, Aisan is the only one we're having testify right now. That's because Aisan was supposedly with Rina-san and the magnificent Yukisetsuna-san the entire time. I'm right. But based on what Aichan has been saying, there must have been a point where the group was separated. So my question is this. How much can this witness's testimony thus far account for the activity of the other two? 
Order! Order in the court! Hooray! A good thing you kept Achan up there! Now's the time you've got the chance to get further testimony. That's exactly right. Thank you, Ayumu. Hmm, to be honest, I didn't really think about that. I saw it the way you described it earlier. You made it sound like you were with Setsuno chan and Rina chan the entire break, period. You said it to me yesterday, too. Anything that they saw, you would have as well, or something of the sort. But if there was a point where the group was separated, you couldn't speak on their behalves, right? Who knows where they could have gone? Well, you're not wrong. Thinking back, I think I was separated from the other two for a brief moment. The other two? She was by yourself for a period of time. Your Honor, we must have Setsuna chan and Rina chan testify about their true motions that day. Wait, who's gonna be the judge then? Cause Setsuna is Nana-san. Oh, right. Hang on a second, you you No need to get Setsuna down here so soon. Maybe I can explain this whole conundrum anyway. Even if I can't tell you where they were, I can definitely tell you where they weren't. Is that so? I'll leave this to you then. I suppose I'll be the one standing aside and looking pretty this time around. As I promised, Defense, I have taken back what I said about your performance, but for how long? I'd come up with a witty quip, but I do wonder myself how long this lifeline will last me. In that case, please specify how Rina-san and I, I mean Rina-san and Setsuna-san, moved around the, the time of the crime. Witness testimony, everyone's location. As far as I know it, Karin left the room pretty early. I think she was the first one to leave. I left the room second and made the call to COT in the hallway right outside the practice room. Based on the timestamp of the call, it was about 4.11 p.m. One short call later, Setsu came out of the practice room and we headed to the restroom together. Rina Rina must have joined us in the restroom about 4.14 or so because we took the photo at 4.15 immediately after she came to us. We were in there until maybe 4.25. That's about when we headed back to the practice room. I see, so there's no need to get Rina-san or Sosinat Setsuna-san to testify after all. That is correct. According to the witness's testimony, she had left the practice room at around 4.11, and everyone else left some time after. Recall that to the printer record state that the printer was turned on at 4.10. The defendant, having left earlier than everyone else, is the only one who could have used the printer at the time. That makes perfect sense. Defense, your witness. Ayumu's afforded me a pivotal opportunity. I better not waste it. Despite all the evidence suggesting that Karen must have printed the tickets, there's got to be a gap in their reasoning somewhere. Oh my gosh. This case is a lot longer than I thought. Or, well, the trial, rather. Anyway, press all of them, because I don't know what to do. According to the club room access records I have here, Karen son had gone to the club room at 4.05. Sounds about right, she did leave pretty early into the break from what I can remember. This aligns perfectly with our previous account of events. The defendant must have arrived to the printing room early after going to the club room, then goofed around for the 15 minutes she was in there. And you're sure that no one else left before her? Um, I think so. I won't be able to know for sure, though. Defense, do you take any issue with what the witness has said here? Let's see, do I have anything to suggest that Karen-san didn't actually leave earlier? Um, I don't think so, unfortunately. I don't remember, it's been far too long since I gathered evidence for this trial. I don't think I have the evidence to counter that claim, but best I hold it off for now. And you're sure that Rina-chan wasn't out of the room at this point? rina Rin and I usually go to the restroom together. I wanted to see if she wanted to tag along, but she was distracted by that little game she was showing off. Ah, well, I decided to rest in the restroom while rina Rin rested with the rest. That's a lot of rest in that sentence, but thank you. Defense, do you take any issue with what the witness has said here? Let's see, do I have anything to suggest that Rina-chan must have not been in the practice room at the time I-chan is describing her? I'm gonna say no to this as well, cause I'm not sure. I don't think I have the evidence, best I hold it off for now. And when would you say that was? My chat with Shiochi didn't last that long, would you say it lasted two minutes? Probably less, I'd say one minute if even that. 
supposed to wrap the show up right when I finished, so maybe 4.12 or 4.13. Since I was standing right outside the practice room, she must just have come from there. I don't think she went anywhere else. There are some annoyingly narrow time frames. No matter though, the point is that both Miyashita Aisan and Yuki Setsuna-san were never near the practice room when the printer was activated. Neither one was at the printing room. Defense, do you take any issue with what the witness has said here? Like I said, I don't know and I don't remember, so I gotta say no. Oh my god. This is tough. And you yourself saw her come in. At that point, I was already busy taking photos with Setsu. I guess I wasn't like laser focused on the door or anything. You took more photos than just the one you're showing here today? Yeah, but they don't tell us anything we don't know already. It's fine. Huh. Anyway, my point is that I don't see Rinari coming. I heard her coming. That's what alerted me to her presence. Defense, you have any issue with the whole thing? To make it easy on myself, I think we're just gonna pick one and like do something. I don't know. So you're saying you goofed around in the restroom from 4.15 to 4.25? Oh yeah, I love goofing around. It was a great goof. You see, if the witness goofed around for 10 minutes in the restroom, What's stopping the defendant from goofing around in the printing room for 15? What matters is the fact that none of us had left the room for that 10 minute interval. Not that it really matters. This might be our last chance. Do you see anything we can do with this info while you move? Beats me. You might have to defend on tiny minor inconsistencies for this one. Still, tiny contradictions are still better than nothing at all. Looks like I might have to press for more info. I really need every detail I can get. Great! Oh my god. I guess we'll press this. I don't know. I will say yes for this one because I said no when nothing happened. Of course, this evidence will show why Aichan couldn't have noticed Rinachan come in. Um, I don't know what evidence. <laughs> Wait a second. Is it the group photo? Oh my god, it was. Aichan, are you absolutely sure that you heard Rina-chan come into the restroom? Yeah, is there a problem? Frankly, I don't think you're telling the truth. Yes, it's all in this photo. Remember that photo you took at 4.15 on the day of the crime? There's something in it that directly contradicts your statements. The court will once again request that the defense shows where the contradiction is. Show the courts what the issue with the photo is. Oh my god, I, I did not notice I channeled earbuds. This is the problem about the photo I was talking about. Is that, is that a pair of wireless earbuds? They are, so I need to raise the question. How could she have heard anyone come in if she was using her earbuds? What does that explain? The witness could easily have just put her earbuds on between Tenoji Rina-san coming in and her taking the photo. And yet the witness clearly stated that she had taken the photo immediately after Rina-chan entered, did she not? Well, the witness could be misremembering something. Perhaps she's simply mistaken. Besides, this discrepancy is minor. I doubt that it would affect the outcome of the case. Still, even a minor discrepancy like this raises questions, don't you think? Winnis, how do you explain this? How could you have heard Rina-chan enter the restroom if you had your earbuds on? Sorry, I've gotta come clean. I'm yanking your chain. Huh? You mean you lied? Just a teeny tiny favor. I hope you can forgive me. Lying on the stand is called a pre-jury. It's not something that can just be excused. If this were a real court, we'd have to punish you for that. Hear me out, okay? I'll explain everything. Let me testify again. Great, more testifying. Real talk, I didn't actually hear or see Rinari come into the restroom myself. Sorry about that. In reality, Setsu was the one who heard Rinari come in. Right when Rinari showed up at 4.15, Setsu let me know it. That's how I found out. Sorry for the misinformation. I figured it wouldn't make that big of a difference either way. 
so you told the lie at the stander. Because I didn't want to have to drag Setsu into this, that's all. Ah, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, come on now, it was all for a friend. I hear Setsu's really busy nowadays. What do you think, Your Honor? What do you suppose Setsu is up to now? She's standing in front of you? Um, no clue? Um, but do you think it'd be better if Setsuna's son testified for herself? No way, don't worry, Your Honor. Setsu can stay put. I've got this. Are you sure about that? But yeah, I just wanted to make it look like I was the one who heard Rinnery come in. I didn't want to speak for Setsu and commit hersery or whatever it's called. Her. So you decided to commit perjury instead? Y yeah, what? Yeah, what? Ah, my bad. I'll just tell the truth now. I'm honest. Oh my, this trial is a mess. Oh, I know. It's a long trial. I didn't expect this. And that's what I've been saying this entire time. You turn it. This is it. I think this is where you'll really be able to turn this around. Sure, you've had your ups and downs, and some of the downs are really down. But I really think this is your big break. Don't give up. Okay, you cross-examine when Rina Tan entered. We're just gonna press everything. Make it easier. So you lied in order to prevent Setsuno Chan from having to get dragged into this. That's right, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I hope my testimony now makes up for it. Wouldn't it have just been simpler to ask Yuki Setsuna san herself to come testify? Well, from what I heard, she's preoccupied with something right now. I figured she didn't want to be disturbed, so I figured, you know, what, what they don't know won't hurt them. I'll just spout out a little white lie that doesn't really change anything. I see, and are you aware of what she's currently up to? Who knows, whatever it is, I'm sure she's doing just great. Most honorably to hammer it in. Ah, uh, uh, uh. So, what exactly did she hear, footsteps? Oh, come on, you know I can't answer that. You have to ask Setsu herself, if you get the chance, that is. Even if I knew what it was, can I even say it? Or will Miss Slicey over there cut me off for her say? Miss Slicey? I kid, I kid, it's just a joke. There's a lot of info I'm missing. Perhaps at some point I need to get Setsu to turn herself down here to testify after all. Can you describe that interaction in detail? Huh, what do you mean? Well, uh, you had earbuds on during that time. How did you hear Setsuna chan tell you that Rina chan had arrived? Oh no! Nah. She had tapped me on the shoulder to get my attention. How else would you notify someone whose ears are plugged? And Shiriko did a little movement, so I'm gonna pursue her. Shiriko chan, did you have anything to add to that? Uh, um, no, I wasn't thinking about anything. I saw your reaction to what Aichan said about being tapped on the shoulder. What were you thinking about? It's not relevant. It could be important. It really isn't. Shiriko chan, what was it that you were thinking about? Ugh. Oh. In this day and age, personal hygiene is of the utmost concern. As student council president, it is my duty to remind everyone of its importance. I agree with the witness's statement. I was just wondering if... You know, if Setsuna-san had washed her hands before making contact with Aisan. Ah, <laughs> that was it! You're such a card shield to you. And that's why I said it wasn't important. Come on. Well, since we got this far, why don't you fill us in, Aichan? Oh, of course! She... didn't. Of course she didn't. Um, ew? No, no, it's fine. She didn't use the toilet. She only went to the restroom to grab a paper towel. A paper towel? Practicing makes you work up a sweat, you know? It sets you just wanted to wipe herself clean. So essentially, this tangent was a waste of time. Wait a minute, please add this to your testimony, witness. Huh? Is it really that important? The defense believes it could be. Please, I chan. Yeah, I don't want anyone to think that sits in a sign to some icky hand unwasher. Uh, Alright. 
She went in just to grab a paper towel. Yeah, you know, Setsu, when she practices, she practices harder. She's always striking these heroic poses and making these large sweeping motions. Her presentation is top-notch. Not to mention the multiple explosions she sets off in the practice room. The entire room was set on fire. Well, metaphorically, of course. If you keep describing it like that, there might be a police officer at her door tomorrow. Then I'd have to explain it to her that it was just a joke, not fun. Um, it kinda does. Oops, does it? How so? Well, seeing a, or hearing Rina-chan come in yourself is one thing, but if Setsuna-chan was actually the one who saw her come in, you can't vouch for that directly, right? This is why hearsay law exists. You're generally not supposed to testify something that someone else tells you. However, since Yuki Setsuna-san must have notified Miyashita Ai-san of Tenoji Rina-san's presence immediately after she came in, an exception is found under the present tense impression. Not sure what any of that means, so I'm just going to agree. Bruh. Ayumu, if we don't find a break here, we might be done for. Maybe so, I don't know what other info you might be able to get out of Aichan. If nothing, there may still be others that have testimony to give. It's alright to have the case go on for another day if we still need more testimony. Keep it up, up until now Aichan could get away with testifying for Setsuna Chan, but if you keep finding discrepancies, you'll be able to change that. Remember to press and make sure you pay close attention to what's being said. Okay, I don't know what to press though, because I pressed everything. I didn't notice, but there's a paper towels with this hand pen photo. So I guess we gotta present this. Sorry, but that simply can't be your... Huh? Why? It all has to do with what's in this photo. This picture was taken at 412 on the day of the crime. I would like the members of the court to pay attention to what's in the background of this photo. Ah, there's a paper towel rack! That's right, why would Setsuna Chan have gone to the restroom to grab a paper towel? If there's a paper towel rack right in the practice room. Huh. And what does this change? So you can't comprehend a Yuki Setsuna san's decisions? I can hardly understand anyone's decisions from this school, the defense included. I think that's a you problem. My point is Setsuna Chan had no reason to leave the practice room that day, right? Or could there have been another reason? No matter how you look at this, don't you agree that we need her to testify? Wait a second, Yu Yu, I might be able to explain. Let me stop you right there, Aichan. You've been speaking on Setsuna Chan's behalf this whole time, and that was fine and good for a while. But then it became apparent that you're trying to keep her off the witness stand, up to and including committing perjury for her. That's completely unnatural, wouldn't you say? Uh, unnatural? It's time to let Setsuna Chan herself explain why she really left the room. Not you, Ai Chan. Not you covering for her. Not you speaking on her behalf. I'm talking about Setsuna Chan herself. D defense, are you saying? Your Honor, I'm not going to stutter. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to ask this out loud. And my question is this Why the hell is Ai Chan trying to prevent Setsuna Chan's testimony from coming to light? Defense, how dare you accuse the witness of concealing a witness? You're the one who called her up there. Aren't you looking for her testimony? Not to mention that there are a million and one reasons why Yuki Setsuna-san could have left the practice room that day. Unsustained accusations are misdemeanors. You're missing the point. I'm not accusing her. I'm saying we need to get her down here as a witness. Because for whatever reason, I can insist on speaking on her behalf. But I... I chan it's over. We have to get Setsuna-chan herself to testify. Or do you secretly have some ulterior motive for preventing Setsuna-chan from testifying? Uh... Uh... Ai-san, what in the world is going on? Just let Setsuna-san testify on her own. Hang on, Setsu can't testify today. And what about tomorrow? There should be nothing preventing her from testifying then, right? This is a first. I'm pleasantly surprised. 
Normally, I'd throw out some snide remark, but this time I wholeheartedly agree with the defense. Hompa, I'm your witness. You got another lollipop since when? Unfortunately, witness, you're wrong. Have you forgotten? I wasn't the one who called you up. The defense did. I will not allow my victory to be tainted by a deceptive witness. Quit hiding Yuki Setsuna-san and let her testify on her own. Daya-san, she's agreeing with me? Your Honor, the defense requests that the trial be postponed until tomorrow. We need to gather more info and witnesses. From the potential witnesses being separated, to concerns of hearsay, to the fact that we still don't know why Setsuna Chan left the practice room. As of now, we believe we only scratched the surface of this case. Yes, perhaps you're right. The trial cannot go on like this. It looks like Setsuna Sun will have to testify after all. That'll only be just. Court will be adjourned for the day. Both sides shall investigate the case further. And I'll sub Puena Setsuna Sun for tomorrow's trial. I'm sorry. T took this court long enough. What a disastrous trial. If I see another witness hiding like a coward tomorrow, I'm going to flip my lid. You hear me? Oh my, awfully harsh, don't you think? Hardly. At least you haven't let me down. If only we could have more than one school council president at the school, maybe this trial wouldn't have been such a catastrophe. Poor Ai-chan and Setsuna-chan. Daya-san's really laying it into them. I'm thinking I should repay Aya for sticking up for me earlier and spare those two from any more of Daya-san's wrath. Hey, instead of ranting about Ai-chan and Setsuna-chan anymore, let's all just go. We need to continue our investigations, right Daya-san? Ugh, I suppose you're right. You've impressed me today, Takasaki yu san Keep it up. We'll reconvene tomorrow. Court is adjourned. Is it wrong if I say finally? This is my fault. I should have never played judge today to begin with. Setsuna chan, it's okay. I just really like being the judge, you know? I should have known this kind of thing would happen. I was a witness, but I thought I could play it off if I chan handled the testimonies and I acted a neutral. Maybe I just miss those days when I was student council president. Being the judge makes me feel like I'm in charge again. But that's just me being selfish. Well, that's just because you have a strong sense of justice. You're like those characters in the anime you like. Yuki Setsuna, warrior of justice. Ah, <sighs> thanks. You're right though, I've got to testify for myself. No more hiding. That's more like it, Setsuna-chan. Come on, repeat after me. I, Yuki Setsuna, I, Yuki Setsuna, am a warrior of justice. Am a warrior of justice. Hooray, Setsuna-chan. We'll see you in our investigations later, okay? The only question I have now is, what were you hiding? Why didn't Ai-chan want you to testify? Could it be that you were the one who printed the tickets? I think you should see for yourself. It's up for you to decide what to do with what you find out. Anyway, that is all for now. I'll see you two around. Episode 2, Invitation to the Turnabout to be continued again? Oh my god, how many parts of episode 2 are there? Well, anyways guys, I'm gonna leave this part here. I didn't realize this trial was gonna be so long, and I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is kind of just gone. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's just a good time to stop. So, thanks for watching, and I guess I will see you all next time in another Gekuten Live video, or whatever I make next. Goodbye, for now. Mm -hmm.